what's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel we are back in some seven days to die we're on that 8k2 map for episode number two uh, looks like i got a bag over here i left so i basically just hunkered down through the night as you see i have cleared uh quite a few of uh trader rex trees sorry there uh wrecked you didn't need that scenery anyway that is kind of a score all right, daylight is upon us. Now, uh, I'm going to want to go ahead and dump off over here. Uh, we are thirsty. Water is not really an issue right now, and I'm going to do a few more trader quests today. So I should get even more. Now, one thing that is an issue, though, is food. We are starting to struggle a little bit of, with food, and I think I want another storage box here. So let's just go ahead and throw one more storage box down. And uh, just slap that bad boy right here. And what do we want to put in it? Let's throw those seeds in it. Um, actually, let's throw anything that's like a natural type resource in it. Or anything that we collect. Uh, let's see. What can we do here? Can we yoink anything out of here? We got a few old sham sandwiches. I've already eaten a few of those. So you see my health is low. Which uh, is not good. Let's see, we can just throw that stuff in there. We don't need it. Um, I could clean these up just a little, probably. Yoink that out of there. We'll yoink that out of there. Organize it up a little bit. We'll yoink that as well. I'm trying to just keep the chests somewhat organized. Uh, they're not going to be perfect, that's for sure. But keep a little bit of base organization going with it. And then what are we going to sell? Let's see. We can sell this. We can sell that. I think we'll keep the iron crossbow bolts. Just in case we come across uh, a crossbow there. And we're going to want to sell that die as well. I've got one more murky water here. Let's get that bad boy uh, brewing up. Also, going to have to do something for some food here today. Now let's go ahead and turn in. Uh, this is the quest we did at the end of yesterday's episode. And then hopefully Trader Rectus got some good stuff. Now, although I don't plan on really focusing Trader Quests super, super hard, um, like if I do seven more Trader Quests, I'm guaranteed a free bike. So I feel like getting through the first tier could be quite important. Oh man, coal is so good. We got an Art of Mining as well. Which one is that one? 10% more block damage. Uh, I feel like I kind of need the corn right now, though. That 9 mil ammo is going to be good, too. And it's such a tough call on this one. I think I'm just going to, I'm going to risk it, not go with the food and take uh, the art of mining. Now, let's see what Wrecked is offering up today. Once again, a lot of really far ones, which of those I'll be able to get over to that area as soon as I get um, some transportation. See, we got a fetch here. Robert's Tack Shack. That one's 500 meters away. It is a pretty good clip. Let's head on over there. Let's uh, free up some stuff, too. And that's only 10 dukes for that bad boy. Feel robbed. Robbed, I tell you. Uh, the super oil, I don't think we're going to need for a while either. And that's 100. So we're actually stacking them up. We got 1,000 now. Now, he did have uh, some bacon and eggs. Uh, I thought. There they are right there. I'm tempted to just buy the... But you know what? We will hold out on that. Um, we'll buy those towards the end of the day if we need to. But let's go ahead and... Uh, oh, this is taking us over to a different town. Or maybe it's a wilderness POI. It's 400 plus meters away over that way. We got uh, a few locals here to clear out. We'll help uh, good old Wreck out. And I think... Actually, it looks like I already leveled from, from all of the tree chopping I did. I'll, uh, I think I got like 1,100, 1,200 wood now. So, I mean, I did chop quite a few trees down overnight. Uh, what did I end up with? 1,300. So pretty good score there. And then I do have one skill point available. Uh, of course, we're going to focus pretty heavily on agility here. And we can go one more point into knives now. So let's go ahead and take that since we're focusing the knives. And let's get on over and get this POI uh, knocked out here. Let's get uh, these trader quests done. 
The bicycle is just huge, and I'm hoping that this is not a wilderness POI. However, I do think it's going to be. I would love for that be to be just like pointing me to the direction of another town. But it's looking like this is going to be a wilderness POI. And, you know, hopefully it's got some good, uh, good stuff in it. The quests were fairly far away. Um, that's for sure. Of course, that's going to be um, a little bit RNG depending on what spawn point you're at. And then, of course, additionally, the trader can offer up, um, you know, varied, varied quests. So you never know really what you're going to get when it comes to the trader quest progression. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a wilderness POI. Looks like uh, just kind of a house out here in the middle of nowhere. This one's a retrieve the supplies. Now, these retrieve the supplies, the fetch quests, those offer kind of the lowest tier rewards. But on the same note, they can be incredibly fast to complete. So if you're just trying to blast through a particular tier of trader quests... Sometimes that is a really easy way to get it done. All right, let's check it out. Might have some decent loot in here. Now, you know, I'm mixed emotions on what route to take, and I usually just look and see how easily accessible, like we see the arrow, it's going to be up. Looks like it's probably going to be right through that wall there. So let's just run through the POI as it's intended it looks like it wants us to start right here going up it's going to be one of those fall through the world kind of situations uh, it might be check it out here oh, there it is right there see now that is just it's too hard to bother with the poi i mean the quest is complete so i can bolt back right now turn it in, get the quest progression, and just move on to the next. Now, I missed out on all that POI loot, but right now the focus is transportation. Um, I've got the cooking pot and the grill squared away already, so being able to get around a little bit quicker is going to be just the way to go. In fact, let's go ahead and burn this uh, black strap here. That was a score right there, finding that that early. Let's burn that up, and that will... Uh, Help us with some of these runs. We do have some pretty decent runs here. I'm tempted to take one of those, um, you know, one kilometer uh, trader quests just to see where the next town is located. I don't really have enough of the map uh, explored yet to really know exactly where I am uh, on the map. Of course, we can kind of look around. Now, on this map, the forest is over to the east. Are we up north? It looks like we might be about dead center let's see go until we hit the edge it looks like we're actually maybe center slightly to the south i feel like uh, is where we could be at here but let's go get this one turned in uh we'll take that reward of course the rewards are not going to be incredible but at this point in the game it, literally everything could be useful so no uh no really bad takes now, one thing I did do that I want to say out there is I did change the file settings, and I, I changed this one to 40-minute days. I changed it to 40-minute days because I personally absolutely love Horde Nights, and I want to get more Horde Nights going faster. So with that in mind, we are running 40-minute days now. Oh, we got some cornbread. Medical journal's nice. I think I'm going to take that cornbread, though. That is good stuff, and let's just go ahead... Let's grab this other one in the old creepy church just because it's close. And once again, it's another fetch and we can get it knocked out. So if we look now, we're four of 10. This one will be five of 10, meaning we only have to complete this one and then five more trader quests. And we got a bicycle and that's it's on at that point. Uh, obviously, the bicycle is, um, you know, gets quickly replaced as you get better vehicles. But on the same note, such a hot item when you first get it. There's no doubt there. I'm sure we probably got some uh, pigs and whatnot running around over in here too. I'm sure there's going to be some food over there in the fiery farms. We'll uh, visit that if we need to. 
gonna kind of follow the same strategy that I've been doing and that is I'm not gonna like purposely avoid large amounts of combat uh, but on the same note I don't want to let too much uh, of that free experience particularly early game pass me by there is our first mod uh, can we even do anything with it yet yeah we can throw that in here so we've got our very first mod very nice see so the church should be right around here only 100 meters away this town um it's got some to explore now you know i don't know exactly where i am like i said i think i'm slightly to the su south central type area of the forest here not positive on that but the more of the map i get explored the better off i'm gonna be and if i see anything like a crack a book i'm just gonna want to get in there uh on that same note i'm gonna take different oh speaking of we've got a crack a book location here and obviously books are the stuff uh, this is one that I definitely want to clear before I pick it up as a trader quest as, you know, that is going to reset the POI. So I'm going to get free books out of the deal uh, just by running through these. Got, uh, we got one. I actually have gotten a few knife books. I might be able to make an, a better knife here pretty soon. There's an armored up. What was that? That was five. I think we need to get to ten. Maybe to start crafting armor. I'm not 100% positive on that. There's another one. We'll take it. Rifle world. Get some more of that PP water. Making sure we're not missing any books here. This is just, you know, obviously this is a super small POI, but having a POI with that's specifically targeted with books is just good, good stuff. I think I'm supposed to go out. Or no, I can get through here. I'm going to say I thought I was supposed to go out and then back in. Let's see, what do we have? Where are you? Slamming? No. Uh, I bet it's upstairs. Could be upstairs. So let's just loot it up here. See what we get. Getting some good stuff. Ooh, another bandage. Whoa, hey there. Why, hello there. Uh, it's kind of the benefit of doing these early trader quests. I know a lot of people have mixed emotions on the trader quests, but particularly early game, if you do them, not only are you going to get that bicycle, but additionally, you're just kind of getting, you're getting pointed in directions throughout town where, you know, where you're going to be able to kind of look around and see what's up, uh, see what's around. Like I would have n probably never ran into this crack a book uh, if it wasn't for that trader quest. Are you going to come on up? Now she's having some problems, so let's jump down and give her a little bit of a hand. As uh, certainly she's having a terrible day. And uh, let's see if we can't remedy that. If only I can learn to aim at some point. Right, let's see what else we've got. A bunch of bins laying around. There's a little coal. Uh, we got a uh, we got a little front door friend. The spear, uh, I missed the spear already. There we go. We got him. Let's see what else is good in here. There's another knife guy. That's six. All right. I can make a, a quality four bone knife. So, I mean, I normally don't like really going through these, 
the primitive weapons, but an upgrade is an upgrade. Let's deal with this guy real quick. All right, yeah. I mean, that's just huge. So we could scrap this one and use this one now. And we got a little bit of an upgrade there. Um, you know, things like office chairs, all that is real useful, but I don't really want to mess with it quite yet. All right, where is the POI loot? Probably up here, maybe? Oh, yeah. I've got... Uh, no doubt we are going to have some baddies up here. Gonna get anything here? I mean, this is a tier zero POI, so it's not like it's gonna be a crazy, crazy big challenge here. What else? Unlocked door. Let's see what we got up here. And there is the POI loot. So not exactly a, a huge score. Oh, then again, structural brace mod. Now that can go on just about anything. I'm going to throw it on that bone knife here. And I'll probably move it around. Like I'll move it over to my uh, stone axe here when I'm tree chopping or whatever, just to get a little bit more power out of it. Here is another vehicle book that puts me at three. Still a little bit of a clip away, but let's go ahead and get on into our objective now, which uh, is, of course, this lovely little church right here. Now, if we look again, it looks like it's going to, well, it's right there. So is it quicker to run the POI or is it quicker to hammer through the wall? Well, if we run the POI, we get the POI loot. If we hammer through the wall... It might be faster, but then that would give us time to pick up another one, particularly now that I got it down to 40-minute days. Oh, the birds. The dogs put a hurting on me, but the birds catch me off guard just all the time. All right, let's see what we got going in this church. Why, hello. Oh, man, he's letting him get way too many slaps off. Ooh. Oh, I thought he killed that guy for a minute. Oh, we killed him that time. Uh, maybe this fancy new uh, weapon of mine is uh, getting the job done for me. Yeah, we're. it feels like we're killing him much, much faster. see what all we got I'm not going to turn down any books that's for sure i want to the 40 minute days it's easy to get behind if you're not careful i could have seen that guy and probably stealth got a stealth shot off on him but Very nice. We got an upstairs. Uh, the objective, of course, is going to be right around here, huh? Going to be in here, maybe? Oh, it's through that wall. Four meters that away. Certainly, it will be attended by a friend. So there we go. We've got the quest objective it's 235 do we want to clear the uh, the poi itself to get the poi loot um i kind of feel like we do i kind of feel like we do so why don't we just go ahead and head on up and see what's upstairs i can't imagine there's going to be too many more beds here but there's going to be something got just one nope or two Oh, or three. Wow, maybe we better go ahead and fight these guys uh, down here where we got a little more room. These guys going to have problems coming down the stairs? Doesn't look like it. 
we'll be able to utilize this door here. We got one down. Actually, that one died to the bleed, so there should still be one more left up here. Just grab the loot. Wow, man, the bandages have been just abundant. I like it. I like it. It's clear. Uh, oh, here he comes. I uh, hate getting myself trapped back in corners like this. We got a tools digest. We've already know that one, so we can sell that schematic. And uh, what time are we getting to? We're at 3.30, pretty much. So let's just go ahead and get... And... And we're not going to be able to ease, get easily through that door. So let's just go out the way we came. Let's get out of here and see if we can't pick up another quest to get this, uh, you know, to get this quest progression tracking a little bit. Crater is back that way. I do want to keep an eye around and see what we got. Uh, that crack -a book was a big score. Now, hopefully, we end up getting a crack -a book uh, trader quest. I don't think we will for that POI. But hopefully we do. And that, of course, will, um, you know, will allow for looting that entire POI over again. Which would just be exceptional. And we've got four more water. So definitely a little bit of a score on the water. Got a little bit of coal, which is just incredible. As far as the fuel source, let's just throw one more wood in there. All right, let's see. We got uh, ear of corn. We got some miscellaneous seeds. Um, I don't want to sell that. I think we'll sell the super oil and this uh, off-road schematic here. We don't need the 762 rounds. In fact, we can just sell what we can out of those. And I don't need the glue right at the moment either. So let's see uh, see what we get here from that one. We're, we're definitely making some progress. Uh, and working towards getting that bicycle, which will be huge. And see, look at this. The Shamway secret recipe right out of the gates. Now that 500 wood is hot. That 59 mil ammo is hot. Um, 500 wood is huge. But I've been chopping trees overnight, so it's not, it's not necessarily terrible. Do I take the ammo? I think I take the ammo. And then let's uh, let's sell that and that. Uh, we can sell those 762 rounds. Uh, now we're up to 1500. This is one of the side benefits of trader quests. It actually scales up and you get a tremendous amount as you continue on. So trader quests are definitely not a terrible thing. Uh, there's no doubt there. Let's see what does he have that we might want just that bacon and eggs i think is it you know what i am going to go ahead and yoink those guys why not and now we're going to be really really loaded up on food uh let's check again we got a fetch that's 700 meters away this one's a little bit further let's see what direction it is okay it is a little bit a different direction from where the other uh quests have been and it could take us a pretty good ways to get here and I think this might be, this will either be another wilderness POI or maybe a neighboring town. I think it's going to be a wilderness POI because it's not too far away, but it is far enough away that it's uncomfortable. No luck on the honey. Watch out for doggos, man. Those doggos are brutes. Absolute brutes. Just head on over and check it out here. Another fetch. So even though we're starting this one really late in the day, uh, we could potentially knock it out super, super fast. Sorry, girl. Yeah, and here we are. So this is definitely another wilderness POI and not a um, not another town. So now I'm kind of curious how far away or or those other trader quests that were you know a thousand meters plus 
I'm curious about those and are those actually in neighboring towns? What you got in your ride? We'll take that. Um, we've already got our cooking pot, so I don't really feel like I need to worry about double looting this one. This one, it's going to be upstairs. This is a nice house right here. This would have been a good one to set up in if it was a little bit uh, closer to some action, I think. How we doing here? See what kind of goodies we got anyway. Some taters. All right, so this one is going to be upstairs. We do have uh, more baddies right here, though. I could probably be... Um, a little bit looser with the ammo now. Go ahead and just fight him right out in the open here. The doors. Doors are your friend, that is for sure. When it comes to combat. With it just being one, though, I wasn't sweating it too much. All right, he is dead. See what we got in here. Got the dismemberment proc. We will take it. Wow, there's not much in this house. This is a nice house, though, and it's relatively clear. This would have this would just make a great uh, little starting base i think the south would but it's just it's a little farther away from a little farther away than uh than i like i feel like the knife is just so effective why not just stick with the knife because i have the points into it i'm sure Ooh hoo hoo burning shaft mod schematic now, I believe we're going to need a workbench to actually be able to make that. I'm not even sure if that works on knives. Yeah, we're going to need a workbench. Now, we need forged steel for that anyway. That's a little... Actually, we got that forged steel. But what we don't have is a workbench yet. We need some more forge heads. Sounds like multiples. Oh. Once again, the doors are just your friend. Looks like we'll be able to get this quest cleared out uh, before the night is done. In fact, we could probably just hold up here at the house for the night. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to walk back, uh, like stealth walk back overnight. And we got us a lovely little Shamway box. Let's uh, come on, have some good food in here. Uh oh, Sham Chowder. That's a score. What is that one? That's 53 food value, 80 health. That's a hot, hot item right there. Oh, we got some country stock as well. I'm just going to go ahead and eat the country stock. And then, yeah, I mean, POI is complete. We could hold up here for the night if we wanted to. Uh, however, I am going to stealth walk it back over to uh, get back to the trader. That way I'm ready to go, f uh, to hopefully get that bicycle soon. And, uh, you know, we will be exploring in no time on the bike. So that is going to do it for this episode. Thanks an absolute ton for watching. Um a little bit of a dull episode. I, I'm going to skip through a lot of these boring days like this in future episodes. Uh, however, I figured since this is the starting days, I better not edit out too much of it. Uh, just so you all can see the uh, the initial progression. But this is it. I'm just uh, I'm kind of stealthing and chopping trees at night. 
and trader quests by day. You see, while we're crouched and chopping, our little stealth meter is only in the 30s. So, I mean, you can very safely just sit out in the woods at night and um, crouch, chop down trees and have no issues. Um, you know, always a smart idea to keep a look around, though. But anyway, once again, that is going to do it for this episode. Thanks a ton for watching. And I will see you next time around. Take it easy.